Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Kokon from wpbravo.com. In this video, I will show you how you can take backup and restore your WordPress website. Taking backup of your website means you will copy current version of your website. In some case, your WordPress website crashed, then you can restore your backup. So without wasting any time, let's see how to do that. This is my website that I want to take backup. This is an e-commerce website. Right now there has updates. Sometimes it happens when you update your themes and plugins, your website can crash. This is why I always recommend my clients to take backup before update. I will update all these plugins before let's see how to take backup of my website. I will take backup my website using a plugin, but you can take backup manually. I will create another tutorial on how to take WordPress website backup manually. In this video, let's see how to take backup using plugin. This is the easiest way to take backup. To install plugin, I'm gonna hover over to plugins, then click to add new plugin. I'm gonna search for Updrop Plus. This is the best plugin to backup and restore WordPress website. As you can see, they have 3 million plus active installer with good review. So to install plugin, click to install now, then active. After installing the plugin, you will be redirected to there. To create a backup, I'm gonna click to settings. I could click to after plus backups under setting menu. However, now I can take a backup. To take backup, I'll just click to backup now. Then click to backup now. Backup has finished running. I have the backup of this time. Now I can download this backup. If I want to download a database, I have to click to database. Then I can download to my computer like this. If I want to download plugins, themes, uploads and others, I can download as well. However, I don't want to download this. Now let's go to dashboard and update my plugins and see if there is an issue. I'll select all plugins then update plugins. Now let's visit our home page and refresh. Everything is working well. If everything work well, then I will take a final backup. To take the backup, I will hover over to settings, then after plus backups. Then I'll take another backup. Now I have two existing backup. This is the latest backup with updated themes and plugin. Suppose in some case my website is broken. Let's see, I'm gonna hover over to all pages, then delete home page. I'm deleting from trash to permanently delete. If I refresh my website, I'll see my website is broken. So how I can restore my website? I'm gonna hover over to settings, then updraft plus backups, then I'm gonna click to restore. Select all this option, then next, then restore. Restore is successful, then return to after plus configuration. Now if you see there has no any update and if we visit our website, our website is working well. This is how we can restore our website. In this plugin there has option to take backup automatically. Let's configure that. I'm gonna click to settings, then file backup schedule, there is manual. I can set it two hours, that means every two hours our website will be backup. We can set 4 hours, we can set daily, we can set weekly, we can set monthly too. I usually take backup weekly and this two means our two backup will remain and others will be deleted automatically. Let's set it 4. That means our website will have one month of backup. Let's configure database backup schedule to weekly then make it for 2. There is the option where I can set my backup. I can set backup to all of those. But I prefer to send backup to Google Drive. To send backup to Google Drive automatically, let's click to Google Drive. Then I have to sign in with Google here. I'm gonna click to sign in with Google. Then I have to choose my Google Drive account. Let's select this one. Then allow our setup is complete. Click complete setup. That's it. Now Updraft Plus will create backup every week and send it to Google Drive. Now, suppose our website is crashed something like this. We are not able to log into our dashboard. 
if we log into WP admin, I don't have any option to log in there. In this situation, how I can restore my website? Let's see how to do that. In this situation, I will install a fresh WordPress in this domain. Let's do that. After installing the fresh WordPress, our website is looking like this. If I visit our website, it's looking just a fresh WordPress website. So now I'm gonna restore my old backup. How to do that? I'm gonna hover to plugins then install plugins. Click to add new plugins. Then search for updraft. Then install this plugin like before. Then activate. Now click to settings. Click to settings again. Then we will select the restore storage where we sent our old backup. So it was Google Drive. Then select Google Drive. Then I have to sign in with the Google account. I'm selecting the exact email address I used to take backup before. Then allow, then complete setup. Then save changes. That's all. Now come back to backup and restore. Then scan remote storage. As you can see, our website is looking a fresh WordPress website. Now I'm gonna restore a backup from here. Then I'm gonna click to restore. Then select all these. Then next. Then click to restore. Now I have to put my username and password again then click to login. And we have successfully logged into our website. Now if I visit my website I will see website is working well. So friends this is how we can take backup and restore our WordPress website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful please hit the thumbs up. Hope to see you in next WP Bravo tutorial. Till then take care. Bye bye.